Hi guys and welcome to another Divi video. This is Jamie from System22 and webdesignandtechtips.com. Well, we've been doing a few videos lately of this uh, Divi image hover effect plugin. And these hover effects are absolutely fantastic. And at the moment, uh, Divi Zoom's got this going for $15 instead of $50. I'll put the link below the video. But, like I say, these are absolutely fantastic. It gives you, I think, 250 different hover options here. But if you can't afford the plugin or you don't want to afford the plugin and you want to do some scratch built ones yourselves, you can do it now with the Divi theme. They've made it easier and easier. And we're going to build one today. And this involves no scratch coding. We're going to do this with everything that Divi has included with the theme. So let's get started. First thing I'm going to do is enable the visual builder. OK, I've got a section, the blue tab, with a row, the green tab, and it's got two columns in it. Now to achieve this effect today, we're going to want to work on the column as well as the module itself, and it's really easy. So let's get started. First thing I'm going to do is just I'm going to add a text module. Now Divi comes with all these as standard, apart from the Divi image ho hover module, which we've been demoing in other videos. So I'm going to just add a simple text module. And as you can see, if I move this out of the way, there it is right there. And it's just put some text in there. OK, so now we've got our text module in. Let's choose an image that we want to put in behind it. And to do that, we've got to work on our column. So let's go to our row, the green tab. And it's column number two. This is column number one that we had already. So I'm in column number two. I'm going to go to the background. I'm going to choose an image to have in the background. And let's use this one. And as you can see, it's put an image behind there, but it's not very tall. You can barely see our contents in there, but we'll fix all that. So let's go save our row there. Save the column and then the row. And let's go back into the module now. Let's make it the length that we want it to be so it can contain whatever text we want to put in there. And to do that, let's go over to our design and we'll go down to sizing and we'll give it a minimum height and you can just drag this slider down until it's the size you want. I think I might, might make mine the same as the one next door which looks to be around about 500 and you can fine tune with the little arrows to the right of the box there. Yeah, that looks right. And I know you can barely see that so let's fix that. So what we'll do, we'll go to our content. We're still in the actual text module now. Let's give it a background color, background. And I'll give it a green color. There we go, just so we can see what's going on there. I, think I might make that green a little darker just by dragging it down some. Yeah, that's fine. Okay, now let's go to our design tab to the text and just make it light in color so we can see it if we roll down you can either make it white right there or you can turn it light with the text color down here there we go that's better we can see it and our image was of some food so let's call this cooking or something like that so let's go back to our content to our text and add a title and a sort of subtitle so just click your cursor at the beginning there and we'll say cooking and we'll say with JB Smith or somebody and we'll push the space bar there let's make this cooking a title so I'll select it make it a heading 2 and we'll make this one a heading 4 perhaps there we go now we can affect all these differently just 
So let's go back to our design tab, to our text, and let's just center align this. I think that's what I'd like to do. So if we roll down, you can center align it there. You can do left, right, you can justify it. Not sure about that. It might work. But I'm going to send, put it in the center. Text color is fine. Now the heading text, we've got these little arrows right here that'll take you straight to the heading text you want to edit if you hit those. So I'm going to hit that one. It should take me to the H2. Yep, has done. Let's make it a bit bolder. Yeah, let's take it up a little bit in size and make it capital. There's capitalize. And let's just take it up a little bit in size. There we go. That's fine. And we can do the same thing with this heading four that we put in there. If you hit the little arrow, the little paintbrush for that, it'll take you straight to heading four. It has done. Again, let's make that semi bold. Let's make make it a different color for fun. I think that's okay. I'll make sure we can read it well against the background. That's okay. Great. And the text. Let's go down to or back up to because it's on the top. The text right here. I'm going to make it semi bold too. And I might take it up just a little bit in size. Yeah, that's fine. Okay, now I want to position everything sort of down in the middle here. So I need to put some padding at the top and a bit at the sides. I don't want it quite as close as that to the sides. So let's go on down to our spacing. Spacing. And let's give it, say, 150 on the top. Just put in the 150, it'll put in the picks. That's actually okay. That's absolutely fine there. And I think I'll give it, say, 30 left and right, or even 50. Let's give it 50 left and right. Hit the chain, it'll do the opposite side. Yeah, I like that. That's pretty fairly central. OK, we're, we're looking good now. Uh, let's give it a little bit of box shadow. A bit of shadow underneath there. Now I want to see a little bit of the image through there. So if we go back to our content and our background, I'm going to left click on the color and the right hand slider here is the opacity or the see throughness. I'm going to drag it down until I can see a bit of the image, but I can still read that writing very well. If I take it too far down, you're not going to be able to see the writing too well. So let's put it about something like that whatever works for you great okay so we've got it right now but nothing's happening it's just sort of hanging around there so let's make the magic happen let's make the hover effect like we've got on that one there to do that let's just simply go back into the module we're going to go down to design go down to filters click on that we're going to roll down to opacity and again opacity is the see-throughness now to create a hover effect and this is common with most Divi modules just hover over the dark legending of whatever it is you're editing if an arrow appears like this then you've got a hover effect you can create a hover and a desktop version okay for the desktop or basically when the mouse is not hovering over it I want this to be totally see-through so we just see the image in the background just like that and when people hover their mouse over it I want them to see the writing and the overlay just like that so we've got two states we've got a non hover when the mouse is not on it and a hover when the mouse is on it great now the default transition time for that is 300 milliseconds, which is fine if you want it to happen real quick. Uh, but I want it to happen slower and to change the time, let's go to advanced tab, down to transitions. And you'll see transition duration. 
I'm going to take mine up from the default 300 to about a second and a half, which may be a little too slow for some people, but it'll let you see the effect a lot better because it'll take a second and a half to actually go from totally transparent to having our writing up as it is there. And this you'll only see when we've exited the Visual Builder. Now you can type in a value there, you can increment up and down with the little arrows, or you can use the slider. I don't want any delay, I want it to happen as soon as somebody's mouse goes over it. But the speed curve, I'm going to change from ease, which is fine, to ease in and out. And what's going to happen if they put their mouse over it, it'll ease in. Then when they take their mouse off of it, it'll just ease back out again, which is quite a nice effect. So I think we're pretty much done there. So let's take a look. Like I say, you won't see the timing until we exit the Visual Builder. So let's save and exit the Visual Builder. Save our page changes. Save draft or publish if you're ready. And exit the Visual Builder. Now when we hover over it, it should take a second and a half for our content to appear there. And there we go. Simple image to text on hover effect there. And that's a nice little eye catching feature and really easy to do with no coding involved. So I hope you've enjoyed that and found it useful. If you have, please ring the bell, give it a thumbs up, comment, share and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Once again, this has been Jamie from System22 and WebDesignerTechTips.com. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.